Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today I wanted to do a quick update on our Turnitin.com integration inside of Canvas with its brand new AI writing detection, which is available now to us. So we are over here inside of Canvas, and as a teacher, I'm just going to create an assignment. And if you remember, before you created the assignments for Turnitin.com through the external tool, well, now what you need to do is you go to assignments, which I'm on assignments. And if you go all the way to the right, the snowman over here, click on it, and you should have the ability to use Turnitin. So let's go ahead and go there. Okay. Remember, this is available for our high schools right now. So uh, if you are middle school, elementary, this is not available for you. So I'm here. I'm going to write my title, AI uh, Detection. No, no, AI in Education. How about that's going to be my essay name? Okay. And I can add a max grader here if I wanted to. So I'll just do 40. I can add instructions, please. Right. And I would just add them right there. Right. I can add a start date and a due date. Right. And I can uh, enable peer mark and I can do optional settings over here if I wanted to. A lot of different options in here. You can add a rubric in here if you wanted to and so on and so on. You can compare against uh, against uh, student paper repository, right? Current and archive website content and periodicals and so on and so on. Uh, you can do similar reports. And when you decided what you want to have, you can actually uh, also uh, exclude assignment templates if you wanted to uh, in here. And you also have the ability to save these settings for future users, right? I didn't change anything. So I'm just going to leave everything the same. So submit. So my assignment is going to be created. Okay, so now my assignment is created. And when a student goes in there to complete the assignment, I want to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so here we go. So here is a student's point of view. Okay, so my student comes in here. They are going through modules or through assignments, however you, uh, you function inside of your Canvas course. But the assignment is going to be there for them. So I'm just going through assignments just to find it. And let me show it to you. Okay, so here is AI and education. Okay, so my student is going to go in there. Okay, the assignment is going to be available for them. They're going to go ahead and turn it in, right? So um, the way I set it up is um, just to show you, okay? My student is going to actually go in here, okay? And let's say that they use um, ChatGPT. So they went and uh, said, write an essay about AI and education. ChatGPT created this essay, okay? So I'm having my students uh, turn this in on a Word document. So the student goes in here, okay? And they copy it. And they go ahead and paste it inside of their Word document. And now they have it ready to go. And they go inside of um, their assignment, okay? And they go in here and they are going to submit, okay? So the students are going to go in here and they're going to submit their assignment. So let's go ahead and see that. So they're going to upload a new assignment, that student, right? They choose the file, right? Here's my file. As a student, they go ahead and upload and review. And you'll see that it's going to go in there. Um, they have the ability to review the assignment once they, before they submit it. This is the student view right now. Okay, and uh, the assignment is uploading. It tells them the work count. They can see it right there. They can preview the submission, but I'm just going to submit it, okay? So now the student has submitted the assignment, okay? So now when I go in there as a teacher, something new is that before you were able to grade uh, Turnitin.com inside of SpeedGrader, now you have to actually have to go into Turnitin, but you do have the ability uh, that once you grade it, the score goes into the SpeedGrader, okay? So let's go ahead and refresh this, okay? And let's go to that assignment, okay? So here it is, AI and education, I have it in here. So let's go and view. So this looks very similar to before. Notice that we have the student that submitted, right? 50% uh, similarity. Let's go ahead and click on it just to look at it, okay? And uh, you probably know more than I do when it comes to, um, to Turnitin.com. I can come in here and I can kind of see 50% was flagged, right? Probably the sources and so on and so on. But I wanted to take you to something brand new, okay? Notice all the way to the bottom, AI, okay? And then I want you to see this uh, caution percentage may not indicate academic misconduct, so review as required. So make sure that you go in there and review yourself. But I'm going to click on it. And it's, what's going to happen is that Turnitin is going to open its new AI detection tool. And it's telling me that this particular student, uh, Turnitin believes that 100% of the essay that they turn in came from, was generated by AI, okay? Uh, how do we detect AI generated writing? We can tell you how it did it, but I just wanted to make sure that you were aware that we have the ability to use the Turnitin.com AI generated writing tool. Again, uh, if you have any questions on how to do this, please let us know. Have a great day.